I'm Heidi Alexander, and I am a contributor to the Law Technology Today blog. I'm also a law practice advisor for Massachusetts Law Office Management Assistance Program. First, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to encrypt a Word document using your Mac. So first, we need to open up our Word document to encrypt, which I've placed on my desktop. Here's the document. All we need to do now is go up to Word, Preferences, and once Preferences opens, we will select Security under Personal Settings. Now we need to enter a password to open the document. Make sure to give it a strong password and select OK. Now you're going to be prompted to re-enter that password to make sure that you entered it properly. And now the last step here is to save the file. We can go to File and Save. This is the best option because it's going to save the document over the original document so that that document will be encrypted. So we'll save this file. And now let's close this out. And now you can see here on my desktop, this file is now encrypted. You see the padlock here rather than a preview of the file. Now let's see what happens when I try to open the document. I'll double click. Word is trying to open the document. I need to enter the password. And here is the document. And that's how to encrypt a Word document on your Mac computer. Now I'd like to show you how to encrypt a PDF using your Mac. This is one of my favorite tools, mainly because Mac has integrated this tool into its system so that you don't need to go out and purchase or download third-party software. So let's get started. First we need to open our PDF and we want to make sure that we're opening the PDF in preview. So I've right-clicked on the document here and I'm going to select preview. Now my file is open. Here is my PDF for encryption. All I need to do is go up to File, Print. When my Print dialog appears, I'm going to go down in the le uh, lower left-hand corner, select Save as PDF. Now, I've got a few different options here. It's asking me where I'd like to save this. Now I'm going to save this in the same place I saved the original file so that it will replace the original file as a protected document. I'm going to click Security Options and I'm going to require a password to open the document. Again, remember to give the document a strong password. Okay. Now all I need to finish this up is save the document. And it's going to ask me if I'd like to replace it. Yes, I'd like to replace it with the encrypted document. And now immediately the document is protected and I'll have to enter my password in order to view the document. And here's my document. Now if I close this out, now you'll see here on my desktop, I've got my encrypted PDF document. Again, if I wish to open this, I can double click on the document and it will request my password to open the document. And there you have it. That's how to encrypt a PDF using your Max Preview function. Now I'd like to show you how to encrypt an entire folder using your Mac. First, we'll need to open up Disk Utility. You can use the Spotlight tool to do so. Now we're going to go up to File, New, and select a disk image from folder because we already have the folder that we wish to encrypt. And now we have to select that folder and select Image. Now we need to select the image format. We're going to select Read and Write so that we can make changes to the contents of the folder once it is encrypted. 
We also need to select the level of encryption. A note here on levels of encryption. According to the NSA, 128-bit and 256-bit encryption are both sufficient to protect classified documents. Now the NSA says that uh, they use 128-bit to protect quote-unquote secret documents, whereas they use 256 to protect top secret documents. Do I know the difference between those? No, I'm not sure anyone does. So my suggestion is to use the 128-bit as recommended by Apple so that it doesn't slow down your system. This should be uh, safe enough for you to use. And now we're going to save this. Once you save that disk image, it will appear on your desktop here. Now you'll need to input a password, make sure it is a strong password. Now by default, remember password in my keychain will be checked. If you choose to store your password in your keychain, then you will not need to enter the password as long as you're logged on to the computer. Now, if someone were to come up to your computer, if you step away, they'll be able to access your folders. But once you log off of your computer, that folder that you've encrypted will remain encrypted. If you choose to turn this off, which is what I'm going to do, which is an even safer method, then if someone is using your computer, they will not have access to that encrypted folder unless they know the password. However, you will need to enter that password every time you mount the disk image onto your computer. And I'm going to show you that in just a moment. So let's so select OK. OK, we'll close out of here. And now we have our disk image here. I'm going to open this disk image. We're going to be prompted to enter our password. And again, I'm not going to select remember password in my keychain. And now our disk has been mounted. I can open up our disk. This is our folder with our documents. I can open up a document and it'll open it up. The folder is now encrypted. Finally, I'd like to show you how to encrypt the entire contents of your hard drive using Mac's File Vault tool. What this will do is it will allow you to log off of your computer and have your entire hard drive encrypted. Once you log back onto your computer, your hard drive will then be de-encrypted so that you can use it. It's very easy to turn this on. This is a method that should be used for practitioners who are keeping confidential client information on their laptops and traveling with those laptops. So let's see how this works. What we need to do is we need to open our system preferences folder. We can use the spotlight tool to do that. Once we open system preferences, we need to go to security and privacy. And now we're going to select the File Vault tool. Now you'll see here I'm unable to turn on File Vault, and that's because I have this locked so that no changes can be made. So all I need to do is click on the lock to make those changes. I'll need to enter in my password to unlock this. Now all I need to do is turn on File Vault and you'll receive this dialog. Now Apple is allowing you to use your iCloud account to unlock your disk and reset your password. This makes it easy for you. If you would prefer to create a separate recovery key and not use your iCloud account, you can do so. Here I'm going to allow my iCloud account to unlock my disk so I know I have that password. I could reset my iCloud password if I absolutely needed to going to continue. It's going to ask me to enter the passwords of all of the different users. I have a couple of different users and I'm going to select continue. 
And you'll see here that this dialog box will appear. All you need to do is click restart and the encryption process will begin. And after that's happened, your computer restarts, your hard drive will be encrypted when you log out of your computer.